Folks, this video we're going to update the BIOS to the ASRock B660M Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard. Now, for a uh, thumb drive, I've got this, uh, let me turn on the light a second, Gigastone 128 gig USB 2.0 thumb drive, all right? Formatted to FAT32. I'll show you that in a moment. And I'm going to go install it. Or, uh, yeah, put it into the uh, computer that we're going to download the BIOS file on. All right, so um, here is my thumb drive. Right mouse click on that so you can see the properties. FAT32. Now, notice um, mine has barely any room on it. You, uh, My suggestion to you folks, uh, let's say you decided you wanted to buy this thumb drive, would be to uh, you know possibly get a smaller one dedicate it to just this BIOS update and don't have a ton of files on here uh, like I do, right? Be nice if I practice what I preach, but uh, I've used this thumb drive for close to 100 BIOS updates and, uh, you know, I feel pretty good about it. So it's, it's been very reliable. All right. Now we've wasted a few minutes with this. If you want to do the BIOS update, um, you need to search for ASRock B660M Phantom Gaming 4. If you happen to have the uh, ATX version, you know you would drop off this M. If there's a DDR5 version, you would add DDR5. If there's a Wi-Fi version, you'd add Wi-Fi, right? So make sure you're searching for the right thing. If you grab the wrong BIOS file, it's not going to work, all right? So make sure you get the right one. Now... We've searched for this. Here is our link. And then once we get in here, folks, this is actually kind of a cool looking backdrop, huh? When you get in here, um, you want to click on this support down here, all right? And then click on BIOS. Now, we're not going to go look at it, but there's CPU support list here. They'll tell you what BIOS is required for each CPU. Um, you know, you never know when Intel could add some uh, additional 13th gen CPUs that you may need an even newer BIOS file for. All right. Now, if you've seen, um, well, parts one, two, and three of this video series, you know at some point that we tried a 13th gen and didn't boot up. Um, and then we went in and put a 12th gen in and found out that our motherboard has BIOS file 4.04, which does not support 13 gen, you need at least 6.02, right? Now, if you're out there, folks, you'll want to grab the uh, the latest one, which is 8.02, right? So you're going to go ahead and click download. And then if you're using Windows Edge like I am, it'll pop up here. Um... If you can't find it, you know, the other way to find it would be to just go to this PC, click Downloads, and there it is, all right? And extract all. Now, inside of this folder, you can see, hey, there is our BIOS file, and it has an 8.02 in it. I'm going to copy this, put it on our root directory of our thumb drive, okay? So we paste it in there. Now, actually, it's pasting right now, so it takes takes a few seconds, and it's it's ready. So let's go to our computer and update this thing. All right, so folks, it looks like our our video is uh, dying on this Samsung Ultra. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this out. All right, so. Assuming you guys can actually see what the hell's going on on the screen. On my, um, my monitor, I can't see as good. All right. Let's go ahead and get this going. So we plugged our thumb drive in. Now we are in uh, easy mode. And we want to go to instant flash. Please suspend, blah, blah, blah. So you click yes here. And it, it found it just that fast. So we want to click update. Do you want to update? So folks, um, make sure the weather's good outside. Make sure you're not going to lose power. Make sure there's no hurricanes, tornadoes, 
wind storms, that kind of stuff, right? And if it looks good, go ahead and click yes. And it's going to reboot. Click OK here. So we will uh, wait patiently. Do not power off. All right, so this could take about six to eight minutes, and I'm going to record the whole thing because you guys, uh, if you're watching this, you know, can see how long it really takes. Now, things uh, that I didn't talk about, one, you will most likely need to um, re-enable your XMP or overclock your RAM, basically. Your boot priority might get messed up as well. Just keep those those two things in mind. And it's trucking along pretty good, folks. So, there'll be, uh, you know, I keep thinking how many videos I'm going to do for this. And I may have misspoke in, in the uh, this series, but I do want to put the I... 313 100F back in and potentially install the Thermal Right Silver Soul 110. So you may see that video on here and it may or may not be part of this series, but and so the BIOS has uh, been updated. And now it's going to reboot at least once or twice. So far it looks pretty good, folks. We should hopefully see a, a BIOS 8.02 here in right there. So the BIOS has been updated. Um, like I said, you know, XMP profile. If you have it on auto, it's not, you know, overclocked, but if you change it to profile one, boom. Assuming your RAM's compatible, right? Over here, if you have a bunch of drives, make sure that it's prioritized to the one that has your operating system. I'm going to take my thumb drive out. All right, folks, well, that's going to do it for this BIOS update video. Um, there will be, also, I'll do a BIOS overview. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.